Okay, so welcome back. Today we're going to look at how you can do something that can be really, really useful and it's really very easy when you're making a Visual Studio application, say C Sharp, Windows Forms. Maybe you're making your application and at some point you might want to, for example, open up a text file and look at it or even edit it. Or maybe you want to take a look at a spreadsheet. You've got your application running and you say, hey, I want to look at a spreadsheet. Maybe I'm working on a spreadsheet and I want to open it up in Excel. Is there some way to easily do that? Or maybe I'm, I'm working on some images and I want to open up something that can show me what the images are so I can have an actual view to the image that I'm working on. So we're going to show you a very simple way that you can basically launch external applications in your application you're developing in Visual Studio. In our case, we're doing a C-Sharp Visual Studio Windows Forms application. And we're going to show you how um, to build this very simple application here, which will allow us to basically open up three applications in our Windows Forms application and load some files and take a look at those files and edit them and so on. So here's our application, again, C Sharp Visual Studio Windows Forms. We've got some strings with some paths of some applications we want to run and also the files we want to load into those applications. And then we've got a button here. And here's our design, very simple. We've just got one button and the event handler is going to allow us to launch some applications with those files. So let's start this up. And here is our application, I'm hit Launch App. And it's going to launch Excel and it's going to load a file. It's going to launch um, an application we use for looking at images and this is called IR Fan View. And you can see it loads IR Fan View and it shows us the image. And then I've got Notepad++ that opened up a CSV file and we can look at the file, uh, we can edit it and so on. So here we press the button and we open up three applications with specific files that they load in and show us the files and then we can look at them, we can edit them and so on. So let's take a look how you can do this in C Sharp Visual Studio Windows Forms. So here is our application and the important player here is going to be the system.diagnostics. And that library is going to allow us to run external applications. So what I'm doing here, as I mentioned before, I've got some strings that I'm defining the paths to, first of all, the applications we want to run, and also another path for each application, the file we want to load into that application when we run it. So here I've got for Notepad++, I've got the path to the executable for Notepad++, and then I've got another string that shows the path to the file that I want to open in Notepad++. And then the same thing for Excel. I've got the path to the Excel.exe, and then the input file I want to open in Excel. I've got the path to that. And same for IRFanView, which is a free application for uh, viewing images. And I've got the path to iView64.exe, and then I've got the path to the PNG that I want to load into the application. So very simple. I got some strings to define the applications in the pass. And all I need are these three lines to open these three applications. I'm using the process.start method in system diagnostics. And I feed each one the path to the executable and also to the file that I want to open in that application. Same thing for Excel. Here's the path, here's the input file, and then I start IRFanView, the path to IRFanView, and then the input file. So really very, very straightforward on how to do this. You just use a process.start. Now, as we're going to see in a bit, there's many, many, many ways that you can use this process class in system.diagnostics. Here we're just running some applications, but you can also use it to get data on the processes that are running. And you can start with a whole lot of different options for your application depending on each application. As you may know, each application can have with it some options, some command line options. When you run this on a command line, for example, Notepad++ or Excel, 
You can also, on the same line, you can feed it some options to tell it to do all kinds of things. So the first thing you're going to have to do is you're going to have to come up with, for example, for each application you want to run using this process.start, you're going to have to come up with the path to the executable. And that can be a bit of a challenge. So for example, for Excel, we're running C program files, x86, Microsoft Office, Office 14, Excel.exe. And then IRFan view, you've got this executable. So the first thing you have to do is you're going to have to figure out where is the executable that I'm running when I run to run these different applications. So one way to do that is to go down to Task Manager, right click, select Task Manager, and then go to Processes. And this will show you all of the apps that are running. So, for example, if you want to know what is the path to Microsoft Word, you can run Microsoft Word, and then in this Task Manager, you've got a drop-down for Microsoft Word, select Microsoft Word, right-click, and you can go to Open File Location. And that will give you, in uh, File Explorer, it will give you winword.exe in this folder, which is C Program Files x86, Microsoft Office, Office 14 in my case. So for all of these, you can come up with the path very easily just by running the application and then looking at Task Manager and right-clicking and seeing where the file location is. Now, the other thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to come up with a path for the file that you want to open in that application if there are any. You may not have any files you want to open. Uh, you can also specify files you want to print. You can do all kinds of things depending on the application. So you're going to, as a minimum, probably going to want to provide the path for the application and also any input files. In that case, you can use this process start with these two strings, which is the path to the executable and then the input file path. For most applications, this format is going to work fine. However, you're also going to have the option to have some command line options when you run these applications. A lot of uh, applications have a lot of different options you can choose to do various things. So let's take a look, for example, for Microsoft Office products, support Microsoft.com, command line switches, what it's called. So for example, if you want to run Excel or Word, um, you've got all of these different switches that you can add, which can vary how you start up these applications using the process.start. You can run in safe mode, uh, Word splash screen, templates, file name, and all of these different options you can run in that process.start. Same thing, for example, Notepad++. You've got all of these different options here that you can say Notepad++ and then you can have a help or a no plugin. All of these different options you can add when you run the process. Same thing for IR Fan View. All of these different options you can add when you run this in the process.start. Now it's important that you look at learn.microsoft.com for the very many different options you have for this process.start. What we're using is process.start with two strings. Starts a process resource by specifying the name of the application and a set of command line arguments. This second string can be more than just the location of the file. It can also have command line arguments or options that specify how you want to open this application, what you want to do. So you're going to have to take a look at all the different options and for each application that you're going to launch, you're going to have to figure out what are the options available, which ones you want to use, and add those to the process.start. So you're going to have to do a little research on process.start for the um, different applications and options you're going to want. So basically, this is how you can launch external applications in your c -sharp Visual Studio Windows Forms application. Of course, you can also do it instead of with a button, you can add a menu strip and you can type the different executables you want to run and so on. But no matter how you do it, it's very simple. You just need to have this uh, system.diagnostics. So that's about it for this one. If you like any of these videos, I encourage you to hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell notifications. But most of all, please let others know that we're here so we get some views. Really appreciate it. Otherwise, take care. Have a really good day. Thanks.